Do you struggle with those big algebraic fraction questions? You know, about three or four marks at the end of the paper, and you have no idea how to put them into brackets and then simplify. And it's kind of overwhelming when you see four or even five marks on that kind of question, and you're simply just losing those marks. Hello, I'm Sam Gower, the Ginger Mathematician. I've been teaching IGCSE Maths for 15 years, I've been helping hundreds of students getting those A and A star grades that they deserve. So I'm gonna let you in on a little secret to make these algebraic fraction questions a whole lot easier and then get those extra four or five marks, which could be the difference between a B and an A grade or even an A or an A star grade. Okay, so let's go and fix your algebraic fractions. So the first thing here is we need to simplify this expression. Very typical, three marks, four marks. And the way I like to do this is as follows. If I look at the bottom here, this is a very special form of factorizing called difference of two squares. This is something you really need to recognize for IGCSE maths. Now, the way I can factorize this is as follows. I can put this into two brackets. Now, what two things multiply to give me x squared? Well, that has to be x here. And now to use this idea, I know that 16 is a very special number, specifically that the square root of 16, so what two numbers multiply to give me 16, is four, or specifically plus and minus four. So that allows me to actually put this in the bracket straight away. Now where this trick comes in to help you with the numerator, and we'll see more difficult examples later, is we can also put this into brackets, but we know one of the brackets needs to be something down below so we can actually simplify. And in fact, this is an easy example because 4x goes into both of these, so I can put this outside. What do I multiply 4x by to get 4x squared? just x. What do I multiply 4x by to get minus 16x? Well, minus 4. And notice that now comes up. I have an x minus 4 at the top, x minus 4 down below. I can then cancel. And then that gives me our final answer of 4x over x plus 4, which gets me the three marks really, really quickly. Again, you can have a look at the mark scheme. Again, final answer, three marks. We've got that in the bag where you might have lost those three marks a bit earlier. Now, revision is only one step of the journey and to really understand those IGCSE questions, you need more than just rote learning. That's where today's sponsor of this video, Brilliant, really comes in. Now, Brilliant helps you become a better thinker and problem solver with thousands of interactive visual lessons I mean, math, science, programming, data analysis, and even AI. The great thing about Brilliant is it's hands-on problem-solving approach. It's not just about watching videos and passively learning. Brilliant's all about learning by doing, which is proven to be six times more effective than just watching lectures. It builds your understanding from the ground up. It's also super engaging with competitions and daily encouragement to keep you on track. You'll be building your intuition for things like solving equations. So when a tricky problem does come, you're more than ready for it. So to start your journey to be a brilliant mathematician, then please go to linkbrilliant.org forward slash ginger mathematician and you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription for unlimited daily access. That's brilliant.org forward slash ginger mathematician. The link is also in the description below. Now, where it gets a bit trickier is something like this. This is a big four marker towards the end of the paper, but we can use the same idea. Notice the bottom part is an easy factorization. We have two terms. So what goes into both 3x squared and 12x? Well, 3x goes into both, and then we work backwards. What do you multiply 3x by to get 3x squared? Just x. What do you multiply 3x by to get minus 12x? Minus 4. So we've managed to factorize that and put it into brackets. What's really sneaky here is we know that one of these brackets, in order to properly simplify, needs to be the same top and bottom. So one of the brackets has to be x minus 4 in order for it to actually simplify and be a question you can answer. Well, to get 2x squared, I need to have a 2x because 2x times x is 2x squared. I want to get a minus 12 at the end. What do I multiply minus 4 by to get minus 12? Well, positive 3. Three. And you can double check the top is correctly factorized by using FOIL first, outside, inside, last to check we get the same thing at the top. 
Notice we have the same situation as before. We cancel through and we're left with our answer of 2x plus 3 over 3x. Be nice to the examiner and just pop it over on the right hand side so we get all four marks. Again, there's the answer, final answer. You've now got four marks in more or less 60 seconds. That's a really good time to mark ratio. I'm a mathematician, I like talking about ratio. This similar idea. So here we can actually do either numerator or denominator. Here we've got what's in common between 5x and minus x squared. Well, an x and then work backwards. So what do I multiply x by to get 5x? 5. What do I multiply x by to get minus x squared? Minus x. So I know down below I'm going to have to have a bracket of 5 minus x somewhere. And in order to get to 25, what do I multiply 5 by to get 25? Well, this needs to be 5. What do I multiply minus x by to get minus x squared plus x? And in fact, this is also another example of difference of two squares. So sometimes there's more than one way of actually working out this problem. Then we can cancel through here because we have the same top and bottom, and that gives us x over 5 plus x. Again, like I said before, let's be nice to the examiner and pop it over there. So they can give you all three marks without having to do too much work, which is always good for an examiner. Again, talking from experience here. So there's our answer. We've now got our three marks for that question. So within five minutes, I'd be able to fix your algebraic fractions problem and get you that extra four or five marks. Imagine how much I could do over 90 minutes. And that's where my IG City Maths Mock Rescue Live Workshop comes in. This is 90 minutes with me where we go through things like algebraic fractions, differentiation vectors, those grade discriminator questions that can really make the difference at the top end for the A grade and the A star. So if you'd like to join me on January, the fourth then click on the link in the pinned comments and i love to see you there and fix those errors so we can get the very top grades either for your mock exams or the real exams in four or five months time